Now, like, I'm sweating. I've been travelling for hours. I've had nothing to eat. I've had nothing to drink. Like, my thighs are rubbing together so bad because it's so hot. But then, the scenery is so beautiful. Look at the shine on my face. Like, I'm not even joking when I say the job, bro. Jesus. And I'm um, was have to be the other end of the island, wouldn't I? <gasps> And I'm dying for the sleep. So I'm trying to be in positive, taking in the ambiance, but at the same time, I'm so close to losing my shit. <laughs> So I, good morning, first thing, um, right, I'm just going to sit, So, I'm feeling better. So, you 
really I was feeling like stressy. I think that was partly because of the journey here and oh, the communication was just so bad. So I got told I was getting picked up at 4am from the, at 5am so I got up at 4 and then it got to like half 5 and I was thinking has the driver forgot about me? So it turns out they'd cancelled the 5 bus and it wasn't going until half 7 so I was kept waiting for like hours. And then we dropped bloody the three disciples off. Might as well have been on the freaking bus. So I was on the bus for like nine hours. Um, and then I got told that there was an ATM at the border. I had no cash. And the guy in my hotel had said the night before, don't take dollars. He was like, just get um, money out the ATM. So I was like, okay. And there was no ATM at the border. So, luckily enough, there was like a little cute old French couple and she lent me the money to get through the border. Otherwise, I literally would have been stranded at La Border. Friggin so that was stressy. But I got here and it's beautiful. It's literally so nice. But one of the things that's making me out my comfort zone is it's like jungly so there's like mosquitoes bugs blah 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 and i got into the room yesterday and the room's like made of wood and um, it's just got like one little light and it was dark yesterday and i was just like shit like oh my god i just felt so uncomfortable and i felt like i want to go home like okay not like i want to go home but like, i don't want to be here in this bungalow if that makes sense like I just wanted to like not sleep here um because there's like it's like slats on the floor and you can like kind of see through the floor a bit it's just like a proper jungle vibe and obviously i've been in hostels and stuff haven't i so it was just a bit different but so i slept terrible like i hardly had no sleep i was waking up like pretty much all night um, I think like half anxious well I was anxious I was like anxious about like you no know, it sounds stupid just but just like bugs and like mosquitoes in the room and stuff and oh, I've been bit to death already like I've literally woke up with so many new bites I've got antihistamines I've been taking them and I've been spraying the shit out of myself with deep but <laughs> these fucking mosquitoes over here don't care about nothing um so I woke up this morning and watched the sunrise, so it was awake at half five. The sunrise, it was amazing. It was beautiful. So like when I kind of experience stuff like that, any like fear I have or like I get all worked up about like bugs and mosquitoes just like literally goes because I'm just that like one with nature. And, the past year i'd say like the past eight months i've become quite spiritual and i believe in like energy and connections and like the there's like a, like the energy of the world and there's like a higher being than just us and some people don't believe in it i i'm a massive believer in it and since i have opened my mind to it and like opened my mind to like crystals and stuff like that and just like positivity and I've just found things have been amazing and I've met amazing people. So for me, I've got no reason to doubt it. Like, I do believe it. Um, and I just felt this morning, like, every time I witness a sunrise like that, like, I don't know what it is, but, like, I just feel, like, within myself, like, soothed and I feel, like, connected to something, like, that's a lot bigger than me and I just feel, like, peaceful and I just... I really like getting up to watch the sunrises as well because Luke's usually awake and... I kind of just like sit in the moment and like it's so quiet and it's so peaceful and I like to talk to him as I'm watching it because I feel like I'm really connected to him and I don't know I just feel like we have good conversations and like we both have, have a good day when like even though he's not here I feel like he is in a way um so yeah and then I have breakfast and then I'm just gonna go on a little walk now, another walk, I'm going to go and get a bike and ride around Donda, see what it's got to offer. It's like literally the tiniest of places. It's not that big. 
it'll probably take like an hour to cycle around all in all but um well guys I'm pushing back to my house um but yeah you know me I love an adventure so I just got the beat track so I will show you the room why it's light as well let me show you to everyone how light but so my bed is so weird right so it's like a mix I would say of like a fucking pimp den like no mess and like a Barbie princess guess off see what I mean I feel like it's a bed you would find in a trap house with like a red light in the room but then at the same time you'd find it in a kid's bedroom I don't know big pink mosquito net threw me off last night um and then this is the bathroom like it's so basic like super basic but i'm not gonna complain because i've got my own bathroom i haven't had that for two weeks i've had to share so every time like i've needed the toilet as you could imagine just being other people milling about and then this is outside My guy going past in his little fishing boat. It's lush. Also, it's literally like impossible to get like all these beautiful traveller selfies because I look like a big sweaty mess. And my hair is like constantly like curly or frizzy, should we say? I don't know how people do it, but not working for me <laughs> just El Natural and I'm meeting I'm going to Bali all night to end my trip I'm meeting Lou can't wait and um, I'm gonna stitch a makeup not that I wear makeup on holiday anyway because uh, I get a tan um, like I'm quite tan but this camera's making me look so pale like no mess like I am actually like tanned and um, yeah I've got the makeup not even a bit of shimmer. Oh, no. no straighteners, no nothing. Yeah. Embracing the El Natural look. Picture? Yeah. That's what this is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Five. Yeah. 
Okay. Mm. New um. Are you ten? New um. Yes. Five. You ten? Yeah. <laughs> I am literally in bliss right now. Like, I am so happy. Like, Lao is amazing. And I don't even know why, but it's just amazing. I mean, it's also very hot. But yeah. Oh, this is just all me. This is just the reason I come traveling to experience things like this. Some people come to party hard, but I didn't. I come to experience sitting here with a herd of cows or whatever they are, one side, and beautiful scenery the other side. And I, believe it or not, I'm about to set my camera off and just do like a little hit workout session. Just because I feel like I need to do something. Not that I feel I need to do something in the sense of like I put weight on or anything, just like for my mind, I just want to get like a bit active and move a bit. And I've got my little bike, so I've cycled around probably like half the island, maybe. So, yeah. I'm happy! <laughs> I'm so happy. Under this big tree. Cheers. I just come across this little river. How well, not little river because it's a fucking Mekong, but bridge I meant to say. Christ. So I've got no idea where it's taking me, but how pretty is it? 
Oh, it's so bright though. It's gorgeous.